Hi, I'm Tony Stefani with Hillside Christmas Tree Farm. Today we're going to try making something to make work around the farm a little easier. And uh, one of the tasks that we do is basil pruning, or I kind of call it butt pruning. But when we're doing this, we're actually sitting on the ground and kind of scooting along the rows because basically that's the easiest way we found is to sit there and scoot along or crawl to each tree individually and then you nip the bottom couple of rows. Uh, we do this because it makes you know our directed spray easier. It helps with airflow to the tree to prevent funguses, and uh, just makes the appearance of the tree nicer and easier to cut. So, like I said, currently we're kind of sitting on our butt and scooting or crawling. And what I want to do is uh, make something, and I've seen kind of uh, pictures of them are like a garden cart with a with a seat on it, but it's a little too too tall and I kind of want to modify it a little bit. So we had laying around the farm as an old utility wagon that we purchased years ago and we never put together. So I kind of took the hardware off of that along with the tires. So we'll take all this stuff and we'll see if we can make something that's kind of low to the ground and we can scoot and uh, you know do this. We also have an old tractor seat that I want to be able to sit on and pivot around to each side of the row to get the trees. And uh, I don't know, we'll just kind of wing it. We'll see what happens. So why don't you guys uh, follow along. So step one is going to be kind of mount these two pieces together. I have some pieces of, I don't know, strutted aluminum here and then some bolts. And we're going to bolt them together. And then I purchased from um, Lowe's kind of this Lazy Susan turntable, and it's weighted for 400 pounds, so I think I'm, uh, I think I'm covered here, but we'll mount this plate on, and then we'll find a way to mount the seat onto that plate, and we'll be able to spin. So that's the idea. Let's see how it goes. So one thing I kind of suspected was that these holes would be a little too small to fit on, you know, through our steel. So we'll just drill them out a little bit. So that'll kind of be the operating principle. Um, I think it's about as far as I can go today. I don't have, I'll take the seat into my day job and see if I can figure out a way to secure that. But we'll, uh, we'll just kind of put the wheels on and kind of get an idea how it'll look so far. So that's kind of where it's at right now. So we have our bearing set and ready for that. Uh, I made this plate, which I'm gonna drill some holes in that will mount to this other bearing. And then the seat will kind of clamp on uh, here through these holes and we'll be good to go. So I marked the back of these. So next will be to drill some holes. All right, the holes are drilled. Now we'll bolt it to this. Well, 
All right, bolt it on, you can pivot. There we got it. So I think we'll uh, take it outside and we'll see how it'll work. All right, so we got all that together. Um, what I did was I took the handle that was originally, you know, this long, I cut it down and put the kind of the handle here. That way we can kind of pivot as we move and steer. And this thing can spin around. So if we got trees on this side, we can do this side. And if we got trees on this side, we can pivot over here and do this. Just kind of shuffle on down the way. I think hopefully it'll make butt pruning easier. So I think that'll do it for this video. And uh, I'll probably make another one when I actually take it out in the field and give it a try. So stay tuned for that. Uh, hope you enjoyed the content. And uh, please subscribe to the channel. And uh, thanks for watching.